Welcome back. Well, <clears throat> the queues across Asia are not too bad. A lot of green on the screen. So the implied open is suggesting, okay, the implied open has changed its mind. It was suggesting about a 10, 12 point upstart. But let's see, there's a tinge of red right now. Uh, we'll see how it goes. There are plenty of very interesting stocks on the radar today. So let's straight away get to it. Our team is standing by with a CNBC TV 18 list of top stocks to watch. Guys, good morning. Uh, Nigel, first up, Vedanta. What's happening? What's the news? Well, Vedanta, we have the demerger that's in the works. So we're waiting by for the record date on that front. But in the near term, there is some good news that's coming in there because they have said that they're going to be considering a dividend. On 16th of December, the board will be meeting. And this will be the fourth interim dividend. Keep in mind, they had a dividend meeting earlier, but because of personal reasons, that was cancelled a month or so ago. So now they're making up for that and they're saying that, yes, they're going to meet again. So far, they've already declared close to around three dividends, I think so, and the total amount is around 35 rupees per share. Just a ballpark number you could work with is maybe it's around 8 to 10 rupees per share is what the street broadly is estimating. That's the feedback that I've got. But we'll see how that goes. For the time being, the stock, I think, in the last five days or so has moved from around that 470, 480 all the way to this level of around 515. I expect the stock to open up in the green, though. But there's going to be plenty of large trades and Vivek has his ear to the ground as always. Vivek, tell us about Edelweiss Financial, Novama Wealth as well as Newland Laboratories. A couple of large trades in there. Good morning. Absolutely right. It quite a lot of large block deals expected in today's trading session. First on the list is Novama Wealth Management. Over here, like you mentioned, Edelweiss Group Entities, two entities, Edel Finance and ECAP Equities uh, are looking to sell close to 7.1% of the total equity. So it will be a clean out trade post this particular sale. If it goes through, uh, they will not be left with any other shareholding. So the large overhang as far as this particular stake sale actually ends. What is the total size of the offer? Over 1,735 crores is what is expected to change hands. The floor price is at close to 7% discount to yesterday's closing. 6,800 rupees per share is what the floor price for this particular block deal is. Now, the other stock on the radar is Newland Labs. Over here, again, uh, there is a large trade. You know, the term sheet does not mention who is the likely seller. But if you're looking at the shareholding pattern, small cap world fund holds close to 3.8% stake. So the size of the block is close to 3.8% of the total equity. So the block size is at 750 crore. And this particular floor price for this deal is at 15,428 rupees a share, which is a significant 9% discount to yesterday's closing. It is a clean out trade from this particular seller. Gotex Securities is the sole broker, but expect both of these stocks to rebound on the back of the fact that both of these trades are actually clean out trades. All right, uh, no, absolutely. Uh, very well sort of expected, especially the Edelweiss Nomura one. Uh, remember, uh, we'd spoken with uh, Rajesh Shah and uh, I mean, I think uh, the other one, no, uh, the Novama one. So keep an eye out on both Novama, of course, which has done very well, but also Edelweiss, which has come off the highs of the uh, recent highs uh, where uh, cash now goes in. Okay, let's move on to uh, two other names, Indian Overseas Bank and Samman Capital, the erstwhile India Bulls housing. Abhishek is standing by. Abhishek, morning. Uh, morning, Prashad. So yet another income tax refund has come for Indian Overseas Bank. Uh, they have got an amount of 808.3 crore. That is for the assessment year 2013-14. Just to alert our viewers, uh, you know, a couple of days back, they had received an order of income tax refund of about 1,359 crore, which was for the assessment year 2015-16. In November, the bank had received an income tax refund of 1,238.3 crore. That was for the assessment year 2000. 1920. So in totality, they have got a uh, you know income tax refund worth about uh, 3,405.9 crore. Just remember that in Q2 FI25, the part was about 777 crore. So we might have many one-offs in their PNL uh, in Q3 FI25 results. Uh, coming on to Saman Capital, uh, the company has uh, taken a board approval for a fundraise of 2,500 crores. Uh, just to alert our viewers, as of Q2 FI25, their CRAR, that is capital. Ad Adequacy ratio was at 34 percent. The company had reported a net loss of 2760 crores in Q2 FI 25, in which the provisions were about 4513 crores. So, asset quality has been pristine for them gross and pay ratio at less than 2.4 percent and net and pay ratio at about 1.4 percent. Back to you, all right, uh, Abhishek. Thanks for that. Yeah, the IOB tax refunds are fantastic 3400 crores of refund. I, I'll be happy if I get 34 rupees also. But <laughs> That's a massive figure that IOBs uh, got from the tax gods, which are smiling upon it. Let's uh, quickly move on. So, Darshan's joining in. Uh, so, good morning. You're watching out for Greaves Cotton? 
Morning, Sulbi. So, Greaves Cotton has been the focus for the last few weeks on the basis of two reasons. First, an IPO of Electric Mobility Arm, and recently, Vijay Kedia has acquired 12 lakh shares via block deals at a price of rupees 209 per share. Now, talking about the Electric Mobility Arm, last week, company had announced that for the Electric Mobility Arm IPO, it would be a mix of both fresh issue and OFS. Now, the company has given an announcement that it would be selling shares via OFS, but it has not disclosed the quantum. Also, the important part, it it says that if company remains a significant shareholder or electric mobility arm will remain IPO will depend on the OFS quantum. Now talking about the result of Q2 FY25 of electric mobility arm, on the revenue front it was down 16% year on year, but on sequential basis it was up 38%, but on EBITDA front it remains, it continues to report EBITDA loss. In Q2 EBITDA loss was rupees 53 crore against loss of rupees 37 crore year on year and versus rupees 39 crore QOQ. On the valuation front, as per the latest filings, electric mobility arm was valued at dollar four hundred million. That is around rupees four thousand crore. So here on two things would we focus on first OFS quantum and second what's the, what does company say on the profitability front? So that's the reason Greaves Cotton will be in focus today. India, thanks a lot for that, Sudarshan. We'll keep an eye on that one. Well, Vivek joins in to wind this down with some more stocks in the news. Vivek. Well, that's right. You know, a couple of uh, infra names, a couple of uh, you know solar power companies in the focus on the back of order wins. First up is Acme Solar Holdings. The recent listing, uh, the company has received or is the lowest bidder as far as the 250 megawatt FDRE, that's a firm and dispatchable renewable energy project. This is from NHPC. The tariff for this particular project that's discovered is at 4.56 rupees a unit. Uh, along with that, there is a green shoe option to go ahead and increase the capacity up to 500 megawatts. So now the total capacity of the company has jumped up to almost 7 gigawatt, uh, 6.9 gigawatt to be precise. Uh, as far as this particular project is concerned, uh, the operational date is expected in FI 27-28 year. PPA likely to be signed in early FI 26. Now the other stock on the radar is Reliance Power. Significant order win coming over here. The company's arm, Reliance New Suntech, has won a 930 megawatt solar energy contract. This contract also includes a battery energy storage storage system and this particular project has been won from the Solar Energy Corporation of India. The successful bid was done at a rate of close to 3.53 rupees per kilowatt hour. And lastly, Afcon's Infra, you know, smallish order win given the size of the company's order book. Uh, company along with Hindustan uh, in this particular JV has emerged as the L1 for a water supply project in Rajasthan. This is under the Jal Jeevan mission. Project also has an O&M, an operational and maintenance component for 10 years. The worth of the project is over 500 crores. All right. Uh, <clears throat> thank you very much, uh, Vivek, for that. Uh, so uh, those are a bunch of stocks to keep on your radar as well. Here's a quick recap of our top stocks that we put out. So stocks with positive news flow, Vedanta, Novama Wealth, Edelweiss, Newland Laboratories, Indian Overseas Bank, Saman Capital, Greaves Cotton, Acme Solar Holdings, Reliance Power, and Afcon's Infrastructure. And of course, it's all green today, at least in terms of single stocks that we are tracking. Take a quick commercial break here. We're going to come back. Gurmeet from Complete Circle Consultants is going to be with us on the other side for a quick chat. Stay tuned.